Three engine takeoffs require the two inboard engines to reach VMCG, or minimum control speed on the ground. Only then can the rudder counteract the directional force of the third working engine as it's powered up. The faster you are going, the more rudder control you have, and you need that rudder control to be able to keep the airplane on the runway. How's the rudder control cable look? Did the rudder malfunction, causing the crew to lose control of the plane? Cable severed in several different places, see? There's no corrosion or fraying. Probably severed in the crash. Agreed. Let's test the rudder. We looked very carefully at the cabling that we used in the rudder system. And the only thing we did note were, were simple breaks in the cables because of overload, instant overload, which occurred during the crash. Control cable ready? Good to go. If the rudder cables didn't fail, then could the rudder itself have malfunctioned? OK, deflect left. Investigators test its movement. Turning to the left. But the rudder moves freely. We're good. <laughs> 